please let me know. I would greatly appreciate having that returned to my head. What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joe Crew DMD, and today we're talking about value on this weekly shrimp them. So if this is your first time here and you like what you see, please take the time to hit that subscription button. It really helps me out. And if you are a returning member of the Joe crew, thank you for your continued support. Now let's talk a little bit about this value. So today we have a booster box of battle evolution booster. We're going to look at this box. We're going to talk about the value of the box and we're going to go through the box and see what the value of the cards that we pull out of the box today is Sunday, April 5th. I'm going to be recording this today and talking about the value of the things as of today. As of now, this box is going for about $105 retail. It was pre-selling for around $75 originally, MSRP. Right before they dropped, they were selling for around $150. But right now, they're selling for $105. And we're going to look inside this box, see what we get out of it, and see what the cards are worth relative to the value of the box. And talk about if it's worth keeping it open or keeping it sealed and all that fun information. But before I get into that, something really serious happened. Um, I was taking my regular scheduled nap on the Holy Hexagon, and I seem to have woken up and somebody took about half of my hair. So I am still looking for the other half of my hair. If any of you come across it in any of your travels on the open ocean, please let me know. I would greatly appreciate having that returned to my head. Now let's get down into this. Shrimp them, value shrimp them. All right, so we got this box of Battle Evolution Booster. Now, before we strip this box of Battle Evolution Booster, gotta give a shout out to Gamers R Us. They sent us this box, so if you have never heard of Gamers R Us, definitely check them out. You can look them up on Facebook. You can check them out online. Uh, great place to get sealed product and great group of guys that run the show down there in Cocoa, Florida. Um, but they sent us uh, three bo some boxes of Battle Evolution and packs of the reprints Player's Choice Campaign packs. So before we do the strip them, I'm going to go through these packs, strip them open, and show you guys the different art of the cards in here. So there are three different cards that you can get, and we will see what we pull from here. So this first one here is the Trunks Heroic Prospect. So this seems to be the most value card out of the three. This is uh, a negate and it kind of slows your opponent's turn down. So this is a really, really valuable card for blue. Pretty much every blue deck plays it. Uh, I think this reprint looks awesome. So I'm really psyched about this reprint. The next reprint in the pack is... Sun Goku, Strength of Legends. So this card's awesome. It was a draft box card. Uh, I really like this art a lot. I think the art looks rad. I really like these kind of like promo foilings that they do with the texture on them. Looks really good. Super useful card when the right deck is there. And I think, I think this card is gonna see a lot of play one day. It still hasn't quite gotten there in a lot of lists. Um, saw a little bit in AOD, but not really quite there. And the third one, this should be a Zarbon. Let's see. It is, yeah, there he is, Zarbon, Cosmic Elite. Um, this card got reprinted a couple times, so surprising that they've kind of reprinted again. I figured they would reprint something else, but here it is, another foil version of this card. And I really like this swirly kind of stuff that's going on up on the sides of him. So I know we did a strip them last week where we did a whole case of this, and I don't mean to bore you guys with more of the same product, but this is kind of what has just come out. Um, and I want to talk about the value in here. And of course, we always have to bless him with pack. Let's dig one out of here. Ooh, yeah. Feed Nappa, feed all his Cybermen, and pet Vegeta's hair for a beautiful bless him the pack. And there is our lesson of the blessing. Let's get these other packs out of here. All right, so we have our packs here. Let's set these off to the side. Now, what you guys don't see is to the left I have my computer up and I'm looking at the values live of what the different SRs are. We should pull about seven SRs for this and there's of course the chance to pull the secret rare. 
So let's see what we get here. Okay, there is the first SR out of a pack. So this pan is going for $10 right now. So there's $10 you pulled right off the bat and a parallel foil worth zilcho. It will warp straight out of your drop area. Oh, all right, Basil Fatal Rampage. So Basil Fatal Rampage right now is going for nine dollars so right now we're at about twenty dollars value that we've pulled out of this box and that's pretty good for two srs to be at twenty dollars value but i guess most of the srs in the set okay a roshi foil negate now this is probably i would guess anywhere between five and ten bucks i haven't looked it up but that's a valuable parallel foil to pull for sure did not pull many of those in all the boxes that we opened before. And a bean, okay, that's like 15 bucks right there. So that's actually more valuable than any of the SRs we pulled. Pretty value box. All right, so we're, we're, we're looking at probably like 30, 40 bucks right now in terms of value out of this box so far. All right, and we got this Vegeta Royal Evolution. Now I don't, I think this is actually one of the less expensive SRs. Right now this one's going for nine bucks. So we're looking at and this uh, parallel foil policeman, but I think this is like two or three dollars. Monkey pieces. And what do we got in this pack? It is oh a Goten. Yo, wow, this is a kind of crazy box. We pulled a bean, a Goten, and a Roshi. Whoa, yeah, I, I only pulled like three of these out of the two cases I opened. So psyched to pull Gotens. That card looks awesome. I'm definitely playing it in a list I am playing right now. All right, ooh, uh, Rosie and a Zarbon. Rosie is going for, Rosie is going for $18.50 right now. So that's uh, that's pretty hot cash. Definitely, that is a hot cash card to pull. Sorry so far, so there should be like three more. We're almost through this whole box here. All right, Gine, here, heroic support. So, and we got a parallel foil leader, but the Gine right now is three bucks. This is probably the least expensive SR in the set. So we pulled one of the most expensive SRs and then got a big whip. The Goku, the SS3 Goku is also really valuable. I think that card's already like 35 bucks. And Trunks Bridge to the Future. Three more packs. Hey, maybe there'll be an SR in the Bless in the pack, who knows? Only way to find it. Oh, doggos. All right, this card is cheap right now, and I think this is a great time to pull this card up. This card is $10.50. So I think this card is gonna be one of those draft box-esque cards that a lot of people are gonna go after. It just does a lot of things, and it shuts off unison. So I think cards that interact with unisons are valuable. If you like to play blue and yellow, and you like to play this card, I think this is a great card to pick up. Man, Doggo and a Bean. An SR, I believe. Because we've only pulled one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think this one should be a super rare. Blessing, the map of the pack is Blessing. And Shrippin' it is. It's gotta be that SS3 Goku. For sure, SS3 Goku. Uh, oh! Android 16, steadfast comeback. That's that. That's not a bad pull at all. I think that's pretty valuable. Yeah, 18 bucks, almost 20 bucks. I think right now the boxes are worth opening. If we were to evaluate that, I think that relatively speaking is a pretty decent value in terms of what you're gonna pull out of there. Now, of course, it's a lot more valuable if you play the game and if you want the physical cards, yeah, it's definitely way more valuable to open up these boxes. Or if you're a collector, I think it would be wise to keep some of these boxes sealed. I think in time we're gonna see these boxes appreciate a lot and i think this is a worthwhile set to keep uh in that sealed plastic and tucked away you know open what you want to play with and keep some for a collector's sake so i hope this video was helpful if you guys are thinking about opening your battle evolutions booster this kind of broke down a pretty average box i think there was nothing too crazy in the box but the srs are pretty valuable in this set so it's definitely easy to get your value back uh, I am a dentist. I can't end with do doing a dental tooth tip. So my dental tooth tip today is if you are somebody that enjoys eating snacks, or eating sugar, uh, sugary snacks, a really great thing you can do is just get a mouthful of water after you eat a sugary snack and just swish for 60 seconds. Now, of course, it's not as good as tooth brushing your teeth or flossing your teeth or anything like that, but 
Swishing with water can help break down some of the sugar that's left on your teeth. Sugar is water soluble. And when you break down that sugar, it kind of reduces the pace at which cavities develop. So anytime you eat candy, it's a really good habit to just get some water in there and swish for 60 seconds, spit it out, drink it, doesn't matter. Uh, helps get you from A to B. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I am Joku DMD. If you enjoyed this and you haven't joined the Joku already, please take the time to hit that subscription button. And if you're a returning member of continuing to support, thank you. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys 